hello there uh, welcome back to another session uh, we're going to look at now from one quark a topic called integers and basically this is a topic that uh, is going to be a very foundation topic because it's going to be required in major other topics that uh, we're going to be having along the way so uh, maybe we need to ask ourselves what is an integer. The integer is simply either positive uh, or a negative number or also a zero. So integers include positive whole number, negative whole number and uh, a zero. And uh, in most cases the integers are represented on a number line, uh, let's have one of them so they can be able to see. Now to do a number line, first you need to have yourself a ruler there, then uh, let's make a straight line. Like that. And uh, on our line there, we have some intervals, equal intervals. Uh, and have like this one. Let me have this. Good. That's how you draw a number line. Uh, let me make them even a bit. So, I can have zero there. On right hand side of the number line, the numbers are positive. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. On the left hand side of the number line, we have negative numbers minus one, in fact, it's minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. And then this arrow just shows that uh, it can continue through the number that may be you may require. So uh, that's the number line. That's how we. Uh, draw a number line. So this is a, a number line. So we can be able to, if we can be able to come up with a number line like that, you can be able to perform some operation using the number line, like addition of numbers and also subtractions of numbers. And uh, I'd like us to start with the addition of integers using the number line. So Part A, we have addition of uh, integers, of course, you see in the number line. And when you're adding integers, you can have two scenarios where either uh, you're adding a positive number or you're adding a negative number. So those are two cases that you can fight on uh, using number line. Uh, case number one is when you are adding a positive number uh, at one, adding a positive number, and then part two, adding a negative number. Let's do some examples and you see how you can be able to uh, add numbers using a number line. Uh, Let's do another number line for uh, working on this side here.
Good. Now, uh, I'm going to be using that number line for us to uh, solve some questions. I want to start with adding a positive number. Uh, an example here, uh, maybe example one, I can have uh, 2 plus 2 plus plus 3. You have a question like that and you need to add it using the number line. So how do we go about when you're adding uh, a positive number? Whenever you're adding a positive number, you move on the right hand side of a number line. And then you're going to start with the first number there. We first locate the first number on the number line. Where is plus 2? On our number line, this is where we have plus 2. We locate it like that. Then our case here, we are adding. So when you're adding a positive number, you're adding positive 3. So now, when you're adding positive number, we move on the right hand side of the number. And this is the right hand side, this is left hand side. So we're adding uh, positive 3. So you're going to have to start with from 2, we move 3 steps on the right hand side of the number. Like this 1, 2, 3. And of course, uh, that one, we show the direction of where we are going. This is plus 3. And what's our answer there? And the answer is positive 5. That's how we perform addition uh, using the number line in case we are adding a positive number. Let's have another example, number 2, uh, where you, you have a question like this. Eh? Minus 4 plus plus 3. Minus 4 plus plus 3. So we want to add this one using a number line. Let's use the same number line that we have here. Uh, good. So we have minus 4 plus uh, plus 3. So uh, the case here, we are adding a positive number. Look at the first number there is minus 4. Uh, we locate it on the number line. That's why we have minus 4. Minus 4, we are adding a positive 3. So we move, when you're adding a positive number, we have said you move on the right hand side of the number line. So from minus 4, we move 3 steps on the right hand side. Get 1, 2, 3. That is uh, adding plus 3. And then our answer there should be minus 1. Our answer there should be minus 1. That is our example 2. And uh, let's look at another example on the same so that you can be able to see the different way of doing the same. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a question like this, minus 8 plus uh, plus 5, minus 8 plus plus 5. So uh, let me add minus 8 here, so 8 here, minus 8 is there. So the first thing we do here, we locate the number uh, on the number in the first one, that is minus 8 there. Then we are adding a positive 5. So we locate minus 8 on our, on our number line. Then we want to add 5. So from minus 8, we move on the right hand side 5 steps. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that one, we have added positive 5. And our answer there is going to be minus 3. That's how you perform addition of a positive number using a number line. That is our first case there. Another case of adding integers using the number line is when you are adding a negative number. So let's look at that also. Uh, we are going to use the, the same number line for us to uh, demonstrate that. Good. Uh, let's have another example. Example uh, 5 there. We have plus 7. 
we add minus 4. Plus 7, we add minus 4. In this case, uh, we are adding a negative number. So how do we go about adding a negative number? Whenever we have said, whenever you're adding a positive number, we move on the right hand side of the numbering. And now, when you're adding a negative number, we move on the left hand side of the number line. So we locate the first number, plus 7, it's right here. Then we are adding minus 4. So now, because we're adding a negative number, we move 4 uh, steps backward or on the left hand side, like this. One, two, three, four. So that one is adding minus four. And then our answer there is going to be a positive uh, three. Our answer there is positive uh, three. I can have another example to have that. Uh, we have number six uh, minus three plus minus four. So uh, our case here, we are adding a negative number. That's what we need to have in mind. So whenever you're adding a negative number, we have said we just move on the left hand side of the number line. So in this case, I have minus three allocated on the number line. I am adding minus four. So on my minus three, I'm going to move uh, four. Uh, uh, and minus three, I'm going to add minus four. So I move four step on the left hand side. So I get one, two, three, four. So this is now adding uh, minus four. So of course this is the same as now having minus four. And of course my answer there is going to be minus seven. A very simple way of adding numbers using a number line. The last three, a uh, second last I can have minus uh, some uh, seven. I can have minus a uh, positive two plus minus five. So how do I go about solving uh, the same uh, minus plus two plus minus five? First thing is to okay the first number plus two is right there. Then I'm adding minus five. So here I have to go uh, five step on the left hand side of the number line. So starting from uh, positive two there. So I go uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that one is adding minus 5 and of course I'm going to get the answer as being minus 3. That's how you can be able to perform addition of integers using a number line. And we have said whenever you're adding a positive uh, integer, we move on the right hand side of the, uh, of the number line from the first number. And when you're adding a negative number, we move on the left hand side of the number line as indicated. Thank you.